Hi, I'm Hilary L. Hahn and welcome to A Day in the Life lifestyle blog and my art studio. Today we're in my studio and I'm going to be preparing a few gifts um, for actually teacher's gifts and different packages that I need to wrap up rather quickly. Uh, I've been interested in fur shiki, which is a Japanese art of gift wrapping. It has a lot of similarities to the folding that happens in shibori design and also the folding that you see in origami. And um, today I'm going to show you how you can use uh, marbled papers and fabrics that you may, might have laying around the house to do um, fur shiki techniques on a gift. So as many of you remember my marbling video, these are some of the textiles that we marbled last weekend at the workshop. And I'm going to just be using some of those because I have them on hand to show you how we can do fur shiki. So like a cloth napkin, this one is about 20 inches by 20 inches. Um, and then also paper can be used. Um, and you can just fold the papers really beautifully around cards or different things like that. So I have an Amazon gift card that we're giving and I'm gonna use some of the suminagashi prints that we pulled at the workshop to wrap those. Furo shiki is really fun because if you have a dish towel, a fabric, something that someone can use, then they can reuse it um, to wrap as a gift or they can just you know wear it and it can become like part of the gift. I'll show you, um, this is an example of what one of the paper prints looks like once it's wrapped around just a card, um, something like this. So first, we're gonna wrap up the gift. So we have this really beautiful mug that I found at Anthropology. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda put it in paper. And um, I had a, a few little lip gloss and different things that I can add inside of it. So I'm just adding those. And then now I've got it in the box. So I'm gonna show you, you know, definitely consider doing fur shiki on like smaller boxes. Although I have seen people do this technique on much larger presents. So you can do it on a big gift too if you really want to. But I just think that the small, um, smaller boxes, rectangular boxes look really cute. Now later I'm going to show you how I did this really adorable rabbit fur shiki, which I think is cute for a kid's gift or even just any gift. It's fun. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, now that you have your box kind of all ready, all packed up. Um, you're going to lay out your textile, um, you know, obviously the beautiful side down because you want that to show up. You're going to lay it out and it's like a diamond the way that you set it up on the table. I'm just going to kind of clear off some space here. So you've got it on the diagonal and then you want to place your package. Since this is a square, I'm going to go ahead and place it right in the, set, uh, right in the center of the box. Um, also, I looked at the different ends of my fabric and I liked, I really liked, let's see, I really liked this one because you see all of the gold and all of the um, beautiful print. So if you have one that you wanted to show, then you got to fold that up second. So we've got our design. It's laying nice and flat here. And with these two ends, you're going to basically wrap and pull kind of tightly. You're, you don't even need to use tape or anything. So this is like the most eco-friendly way of packaging something. And then you just go it across, go across. So it's just wrapped like this. And this is like a little flap almost, like a flap of an envelope or something like that. So you're gonna kind of leave it like that. And I have seen some tutorials where people cut it, but since mine is actually um, like a cloth napkin, I wouldn't want to cut it. If it was just a piece of fabric, then I might consume uh, consider trimming it a little bit. The next step um, is pretty easy, but it took me a minute to kind of figure it out. What you want to do is you want to pull and crease straight across. So what they do in furoshiki in Japan is they pull in straight across. So they're kind of pinching those ends. And now you have a nice point on one end, which you're going to bring up straight, which is making a beautiful little triangle on the side. And then you're going to pinch in this side, and I'll just show you so you can really see it again. You're pinching in the sides, and then you're pulling up the, the tails. And now it kind of looks like a little pyramid or a little triangle on the side. And you're going to crisscross the ends very simply and tie it just like you would 
a bow or a square knot. So that's the first step to tying. And then you're gonna cross it one more time. So your little package looks like it even has a little bow on it. Um, so that's how you do the most basic for a shiki. Um, and you have something really beautiful to share with somebody at the end. Now I'm gonna show you the bunny because I think it's really fun and kind of cool. So I'm gonna actually unwrap it so you can see how I had tucked the head of the bunny and how I had like pulled everything around and through. The rabbit starts out exactly the same way and I'm just wrapping this little rectangular shaped package that I got of, um, it's actually like skincare products. So for the rabbit, you're gonna have actually three things that kind of look like ears. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up on all three, one, two, and three. And you wanna gather all three up together. And you see, mine is just kind of folding in naturally because I'm pleating it in. So I've got all three parts in. And now with the fourth piece, I'm actually gonna use that. And I'm gonna wrap it around, wrap it around all three ears. They're like three bunny ears. Um, I'm gonna tuck that in to secure it, okay? So this is how I've got my three pieces gathered up, is I just wrapped it around and tucked it. Now my very back piece, so they've got the two ears on this side, I've got this very back piece. My very back piece, I wanna pull it down in front. All right, so now my bunny ears are in the back and this is gonna become the head, is actually in the front. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just kinda of tuck it back and tuck it into that little bundle. And that's actually, it looks like it's something much more complicated, but it's actually quite simple. And that is how you do a rabbit for a shiki and also um, a classic for a shiki package. So I'm gonna leave those two. Uh, since I happen to have a little bundle of eucalyptus on hand, I'm gonna put my little collection here of marbled things. And um, just to kind of do that last step, you can grab some, some little branches and then just kind of poke them in. Um, with a label of some sort. I happen to have these little hexagon labels so I can just kind of poke it in. And actually, again, I've done everything completely without any tape, any wrapping paper, and actually zero waste. Um, thank you, I hope you've enjoyed my video on how to do furoshiki, and I'll be back again soon with uh, gift ideas uh, to share with you.